Hi guys, so this time we are going to talk about fresh release from DXM decals and it's quite an interesting kit or set because it might be handy with a famous Phantom aircraft in 170 second scale so it's handy with, as you can see it's written here, with several kits Fine Modes, Fujimi, Hasegawa, Italeri and even Revo F4E kits can be used with these decals and here we have 5 marking options for aircraft in 170 second scale so definitely a good purchase if you would like to replicate something different from what you're getting in the box and also it's quite important to note that decals are printed in cartograph so printing quality should be on really good level as well Overall packaging is standard for DXM. We have this uh, transparent bag which is resealable by the way and of course we can see decals through the rear side but we will be opening it and this let's say cover or the box art for the set it's also the application manual so that you know how to apply all of these decals on your tiny phantom. So let's open it and maybe it's worth uh, mentioning the set number 317150 and as I said, it's a resealable plastic bag, so it's quite a quick thing to do. And let's take it out. Just give me a moment. So what we have here is the decal sheet, which is printed by Cartograph. Surprisingly, why I'm a bit confused, uh, but surprisingly all the symbols are included here only on one decal sheet because usually uh, DXM provides several of them but as you can see we have here all of the main symbols we have the stencils and we even have some areas which or let's say large areas which are also replicated with help of decals again printing quality here is really nice there is nothing to be complaining about and even the stencils I think they must be readable so if we zoom in I hope you will be able to see what I'm talking about and maybe I can try to bring the decal sheet even closer so that camera focuses and shows you the stencils. So of course all of these tiny writings are important in a 170 second scale jet aircraft especially on Phantom because they add the sophistication and that's something what I also say in the plastic kit reviews because it might look like a overwhelming procedure and it is because you have to spend several hours at least to apply all of this stuff properly but it will be worth of it in the end because the final appearance changes completely and in small scale it looks even more impressive because all of those tiny writings are really hard to miss. And as I said the main symbols look really good, of course some modelers might try to replicate these large areas with help of masks but it's up to you whether you are let's say brave enough to go on this adventure especially trying to find the right shade of the color. I'm more of a, I would say using the standard out of the box things as provided because that's what was the intention of the manufacturer but maybe you have the different view on this and here we continue with the marking guide so this is something as I said oh, serving as a box art as well and as you can see again small reminder that we have the five marking options here they are in this typical uh, camouflage and if I open it here we have the first marking option from IAF this is the bad squadron from 1973 I will flip it over like this so that it won't be upside down and again you can notice that we have here not only the application of the main symbols but also the stencils for the whole aircraft paint numbers are given in federal standard so all of those paints are in FS numbers and it might be actually easier to convert those into the necessary paint manufacturer you will be using in your build Next we continue with the uh, another portion of markings here so this aircraft from comes from 1984 the lower one is from the well it's not written from which year is it but here we have a bit more writings as you can see and it's aircraft 680 next we have this uh, gray aircraft and this is quite interesting because it's already the Rokaf F4E and it comes from 2012 surprisingly so quite a fresh one as you can see this one and also one more here from 2011 again the same air forces but it's also quite an interesting thing to copy because in my opinion Phantom in this colors looks really unusual and if we close it 
here we have the side profiles for this Bud Squadron aircraft from 1973. So everything looks good. It's really great that we have this marking guide printed in color because some manufacturers keep on printing and include the black and white marking guides, which is, in my opinion, a nonsense in the decal set. But here we have everything in the proper way. We have nice decals. We have really good marking guides. So you will definitely know what to do. And of course, it should be already available. You can get it on official DXM website. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this release. Do not forget to write it here in the comments section section below and if you like this video press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye